what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is asa studio channel for music producers and photographers here we are in photoshop with another wonderful tutorial we'll be editing the beautiful model uh oh, snapped on this ash background today so i'm just going to show you the couple of steps that i'm going to actually take if i want to edit as you can see in the photo we have a lot of distractions up above we have something that i don't even know then we have the light showing on the background shining to our face we also have this um furniture or what's it called it like a frame and flower and we have the second light so i just want it to be the background the model and the stool and i just want to redo uh, remove every other background so here's what i'm going to do so let's start by editing this photo together it's ctrl j i'm going to hit ctrl j turn this off and name this one model and background so after naming the model let's resize it i'm going to resize it like this holding that out then clicking on the left hand side so i'm just going to do it just like so i'm going to shift it to the top so i can get part of our shoe and part of our hair so it's actually looking all good like this so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to crop the image let's crop it and then hit enter for that now i've cropped it and we have that size actually so you can see that we have the before and then the after so now that we have this crop image we can actually duplicate it one more time and then work on it so let's start by using the content away to to fill in the rest part of the image so i'm going to grab this one right here and then i'm going to zoom in and drag to select just like this so i'm going to hit shift f5 i'm going to press shift f5 to fill in um with content away select come down to the content select content away and just click ok and Photoshop is actually going to fill it with what is actually there. Now Photoshop has filled it in with what is there. So you can see how easy it is. So this is our before and then this is our after. So you can see that it's actually smooth instead of using the clone stamp tool. I'm going to do the same for here also, but this time around, if you actually select it with the chair, it's actually going to uh, not fill in the place with the correct one so just bring it all the way up to this extent and let's see what is actually going to give us so shift f5 to bring out the fill and then select content away and then it's okay and photoshop is actually going to try as much as possible to fill there with this background and this place we can actually use our manipulation photo manipulation to fill out the rest part of the image so here you see that photoshop has actually done a great job I'm just going to come down right here where we have the left the remaining part i'm also going to select just like this let's take it up and let's select just like this not close to the image and let's see what photoshop can do for us so shift f5 and then same thing content aware so as you can see photoshop didn't actually do anything so i guess we're going to fix that by ourselves so let's try and fix it by ourselves I'm going to drag it just down a little bit and with this one selected let's select the patch tool right click and select the patch tool and we're going to drag it to where we know just like so and it's going to fill it just a little bit we can keep doing it till we have the one we actually want so i'm going to draw and drag it to somewhere here not okay so it's not actually doing it so let's choose another tool we're going to use the um okay let's see another tool there let's try out the content i will move to so i'm just going to draw like this let's move it up okay i understand this tool now uh, Control Z. Oh, come on. Laptop is so slow. Control Z. So, what we are going to do, we are just going to you know, select somewhere like this. 
I guess that is too much. Let's do it again. Somewhere like this. And then we're going to drag it down to cover so the place. Let's continue. Hit enter. Next one. Drag, cut, and then drag it down just to where we have um, something like that. Hit enter. So let's see where it's actually remaining. Okay, so I'm just going to take another part of it, like so. Let's draw the shape of the table. Something like this. Now let's drag it and then fix it in. Just like so. Okay. So we are trying to, you know, we're just going to shift it just so that we have something to work with. All right. It's enter. I'm also going to drag one more like this. Drag it down. Rotate. So you know you get the idea of what we're actually doing. Let's first of all fill it like this. It's enter. One more. Let's make the one that is straight like this. Take it down. Hit enter. So something like that. We're actually going to blend the rest later. So now since we have this one, I'm actually going to take um, the brush, mixer to brush, and then I'm going to mix the color together just like so. So we don't, you can actually trace it. We actually did some copy and paste. So something like that. Then I'm going to come here, you know, blend this together. I'm also going to blend this together, something like that. I'm going to decrease the size of the brush and, you know, blend this together. So just like so. So if you feel like you don't like it, you can actually take the clone stamp tool and then sap, sample an area like this and then fill it in with what you see. So one thing I usually like doing is, this is what I like doing. I see that that place is not actually looking okay. I actually mask it out like this. And then I invert the mask. So take the, make the brush tool and then I zoom out, make the brush bigger and I paint with white. So those distracting parts, also this one paints with white. Uh, so as to get a clear image of what you're actually looking for, something like that. I zoom in a little bit and then make the brush smaller. So something like this to preserve, you know, the photo you're actually doing. I zoom in, decrease the size. Then I just, you know, this is because I want this to to remain, you no, know, the edge of this stool to remain very sharp. So, uh, something like that. Uh, can decrease it, decrease the size of the brush or the flow. It's X and then blend this side like so. So it's X again and then we're actually going to fix that with frequency separation. So you don't have to bother yourself concerning that. So now I'm going to merge the two together merge layers pick the content and the clone stamp to increase the size and i'm going to sample this part like this hit alt on the keyboard and then i'm going to take it to the end also this side same thing decrease the size sample an area and then paint over it like this so something like this So we have it. Gonna just take it a little bit higher. So that place is actually looking okay. I'm also going to sample this side and then you know sample and then click sample and click sample and click. So we have something like this. Pick the mixer to brush and then blend it all together, just like so. So you won't have any you know difference in the image. So this is what we are actually going to do now that we fix um, the 
and background. So let's work on the frequency separation now for the background. First of all, we are dealing with the background. So you need to take note. Now we're gonna hit control J twice, your frequency separation, name this one color, and then name this one texture. Texture, and so what we're going to do, turn off the texture layer, click on the um, color layer, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then blur the image to where you can't see all this, you know. Take note, I'm looking at the background, so I'm actually blowing it out. So we have something like this, and then you hit OK. Now, since you hit OK, go to the texture layer, image, apply image, and we're actually subtracting from the color, so for the layout, click color. For, for the blending mode, click subtract and then click OK. So go to the blending mode for the texture and then click um, select linear light. So the image comes back to the way it was, group them together. So now let's start working on the rough background. Now for this one, it's actually looking distracting. So I'm going to go to the texture layer, select our clone stamp tool, and then start sampling with art and then fixing the image just like so, as simple as that. So art, fix, art, fix, art, fix. We're actually removing the, you know, the lines. We don't need those. Just like the normal way you do your um, frequency separation for your skin tones. And that is how you're actually going to, you know, fix these ones right here. So let's continue doing that. So you can see I'm actually fixing the image with that techniques, the background, the rough background. And this is what I normally do if I actually want to fix rough edges like this in the studio. I'm going to take it up and then I'm going to fix this side. So you don't necessarily need to select somewhere and something close to the place you're actually fixing. All right, so over the down um, the on the background, we are feed is you can see this depth right there. So I try. I'm going to remove that. But first of all, let's smooth in this place, just the way we did to the other side. And you know you have to take your time and you know fix things. Just because of the tutorial, I'm actually trying to rush to save time. You know, so you can. Actually, fix. Take your time to fix you know, the image. Finishing the texture layer, and you can see before and then after. Now it's actually smooth. So we're going to work on the color. Go to the um, call, select the color. Go to the two um, mixer to brush, and then we're going to blend the colors together. So just. And that is why we have this other rough, rough edges. So we're just going to blend it just like so, just as if you are doing frequency separation on the face. Remember, I don't actually do this on the model, just the body of the background. And that is all we need for the photo and the background to look smooth. And actually, I'm just going to do this so now, uh, for this place, you are going to blend it accordingly. Remember, you are trying to make it real. And I actually left this place to add some realism to the edit. So since we've done that, we can now focus more on the model. I think this is OK. For now, I like it like this. So you can do this for most of your images. Now let's work on the model and the lightning. I'm just going to blend this more, the light, so we have more uniform light spread. Because right now it's actually looking as if the light is very close. Although it's very close to us, so no doubt. It doesn't change anything. All right. So now let's 
create a stamp visible layer, control shift alternate E. We've created a stamp visible layer. I'm going to fix the exposure because I like doing that. Take the exposure to increase the gamma to where you have something like this. So 8.8, .8, I normally leave, leave it at 8.8. .8. Click enter, you can see the difference between before and then after after the um, gamma exposure. So it's not over yet. We're going to do some frequency separation on the model because I can see that some of our skin tone is not actually the same. So let's start by creating a stamp visible layer. And let's do that quick. If you have the your frequency separation action, you can actually do that. So duplicate twice. I like doing this. Let's, let me group this to this place, which is the, uh, okay, let me group from here to here. So we know that that is our exposure correction and our frequency separation. So I'm gonna turn this one off. This one, name it color. And this one, name it texture. I'm gonna be fast with this one. Go to the color layer, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then we'll blow it, that's too much. So take it down a little bit, like 3.7, okay. For the texture layer, turn it on, select the texture layer, go to image, apply image, and then do some, yes, should be subtract, this should be color, and hit enter. So we separated the texture and the color. I'm going to group the two together, open up the group, and select the texture, change the blending mode to linear light. So for the, um, I want to blend the colors, like I said. So let's zoom in and then decrease the size of the brush. And I'm going to blend the colors just like this. So we have uniform colors. If at all I'm going to do this, I, I, I actually like using Capture One. All right, so that's how far we can actually go with the blending of the skin tone. For the texture layer, I'm going to select it. If select the clone stamp tool. And then for the scars you have on our hand, I'm going to select somewhere close to it using Alt and click, right and left click, and then cover that scar we see. I don't think she have any blemishes or any rough pimples on her face. But if I'm actually going to blend it, I'm actually going to take, take it to capture one. So that's that for our skin tone. We can actually see before and after. All right, so since we've done this one, let's add in a little bit of, you know, color correction so for that i'm going to select the selective color let's go to the blues um increase the cyan and the magenta i'm going to go to the cyan i'm going to take it to the right to the right sorry rather and the magenta to the right all right, so I just want to saturate the blues. Now let's take, bring in color balance. Color balance. So this, I'm gonna focus on the skin tones. And let's start with the highlight. So just keep looking at the photo for this one. So take it to the front, adding some magenta and some blues. I'm gonna take the mid-tone, increase, just a little bit. Let's bring it back to cyan and then the greens. Let's add in magenta. I'm gonna leave that like that. For the shadows, I like using the blues to make the photo pop out the most. So just a little bit of blues. And we can see how we've actually added a little bit color to the background and the image. So this is where we're going to stop. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to no, like and share the video. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to get notified when we post new videos like this. So the overall um, edit, you can actually see uh, before and after. And if we're actually coming from where we started from, this is our before and then this is our after. So don't worry, more videos are coming in. Don't forget, subscribe if you haven't and turn on hit the notification button to get notified. Once again, this is ASAS. See you in the next video.